Hey everybody, Matthew Morris. I'm here in the car, which I tend to start a lot of these videos in the car for some reason. And we're heading down to the Hamilton E. Holmes Marta station right now. And we're gonna do something a little bit different. Right now I've got the 10 to 24 F4 on the lens. And we're gonna take that off once we start shooting. And we're gonna put on, instead of what I've been shooting with, which is the 23 mil F1.4, we're gonna throw on this 27 mil F2.8. It's much smaller, we're gonna pair it with the X-T3 because I've been giving the X-H1 way too much love lately. See how that slightly faster autofocus or considerably faster autofocus is gonna help out. And we're just gonna use a smaller kit. All right, let's get started. I ended up over at Bankhead because the HG Homes and the next station after that, the parking lots were full. So I took that train to the Georgia Dome Stadium. I'm going up the escalator and as I did, I saw these stairs. I found a good spot and people were having fun with it. And I had some fun shots. I did switch over to the 10 to 24 to get a wider shot to tell the whole story. I headed back down to take some more shots of people getting on and off the trains, more off and then going up the stairs. And as this train approached, I figured let's jump on it, head over to Five Points, and take some photos there of people transferring the trains going west. I'm on the east platform shooting people across from it. And I love shooting through the train to the people in the center of the platform and across. I think it's just really cool. I love that composition. The train's approaching, I go to continuous autofocus and a high burst. And here's my favorites from that. As a couple days later, I've gone through my photos and I have roughly 13 of them that I liked from that day. Now, this is the kit I used that day. I like my wrist straps instead of having a neck strap. And this is the 27 mil. Let's take this off. Now for me though, when I go out, because you got all that GoPro footage you guys just watched, that's on top. So the kit gets a little bit bigger and it's kind of hard to miss the fact that there's a guy there taking pictures with a GoPro on top. But if it was you and you're out and about, I think this lens pairs really well with the X-T3. I think it would pair really, really well with a smaller body like the X-T30 or X-T20 or the X-E3. One of the big things I found was, just like I kind of thought in the beginning of the video, which was um, I'll have to take a couple steps back. My mind's used to shooting the 35 millimeter equivalent with the 23 mil, not the 40 millimeter of the 35 millimeter equivalent because of the crop on this. The other big thing for me is that changing aperture is on this front command dial here. I really wish that they would allow you to map aperture to the focus ring instead. Fuji, you hear me? Let's go over the shots. The first one is this shot here. Usually I shoot this, I'm shooting when I'm out at 5.6 f8, and this is at 2.8. I'm sitting there, I've got the camera out, I'm ready to go. I'm like, shoot, where's the aperture ring? Um, um, let me just take the shot, whatever it's at. I know it's at 2.8. I took the shot and then fiddled the camera and remembered, oh yeah, it's right here. But nonetheless, I got the shot. You know, I think it's got really nice out of focus elements in the back. I think it rendered really nicely. I liked it. Didn't know it was a Falcons game, but gotta change your plans because there's something happening right in front of you. Let's go and shoot it. And this shot is in the stairwell that is on the other side over here as you go out of the station, the Georgia Dome station. And I like this shot a lot. This was here at the 27 mil. It's telling a story, which is a bunch of people on the escalator but there's a wider, bigger story to tell here. So even though at the beginning of the video I said I was only gonna use one lens, that was a 27 mil, threw on that 10 to 24, and I couldn't help myself because I think this really tells the larger story and there's a bunch of people on the escalator. And this is at 10 millimeter from that, using that 10 to 24 uh, F4 lens, and I really dig what it looks like. Now there's nothing really special about this shot other than it's just telling the story of the day, which is, train just pulled up, a whole bunch of people came out of the train and they're getting ready to go up the escalator. Now I shot that last one and this next one at f2.8 and I'll be honest with you, I think I shot it at 2.8 because I had changed lenses back from the 10 to 24 to the 27 mil and I think it reset the aperture to 2.8 and I just missed it in the viewfinder and I think that's just getting used to this lens on any of the X-series bodies. 
to be cognizant in the viewfinder of what the aperture is. And I'm at five points here. There's a whole bunch of people waiting. I thought the five points would be a great spot to stop at because it's the north and the south, the east and the west lines all meet. Now for this shot, I did have to step back. I framed it. Like shoot, I'm too close. I gotta back up a little bit. I really like the shot. I'm shooting at a 5.6. I'm focused beyond the train at the people there. And I just really like this framing. Now I took a second one, but with a different train. And again, same type of shot. I had to back up to that trash can. So if a slightly wider focal length, it wouldn't have been a, as much of an issue to get this shot as it was with this. But you know, small price to pay for the com compact size of this kit. Train's finally approaching, and this was really cool. I just took a couple of shots in succession, which was kind of nice because I put on a continuous autofocus, which as we all know has a pretty good high rate, burst rate, and took a whole bunch of shots. These are the ones I liked out of it. And I really dig this shot because this guy is framed in that subway window. I think it's just really framing it kind of cool. And I like the motion blur. And this is at 135th of a second here on the X-T3. I think if I had this on the X-H1, the photo would be just a little bit crisper than this because the in-body image stabilization. This is the last one of the day. I got on the train, I hopped one more station. So let's see if we can get something else. I really love how the light's coming through. I've got shadows, there's tons of contrast. So overall, what are my thoughts on this 27mm f2.8? Am I missing the aperture ring? Yeah, I'm missing it. Getting used to the command dial, not completely there yet. Can I be? Absolutely. This lens paired with this body, I think looks really good. It's a good size. The X-T30, the X-T20, X-T3, something like that, I think would be a much better pairing with this. But with the performance on the X-T3, especially in the continuous, I think it did a really great job. Does it focus fast at F2.8? Not really. It does a decent job, but at f5.6 and f8, it was focusing really fast. There's no hood on the lens itself. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Um, just there would be more glare potentially if you've got the sun coming at you. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I think I would. I think that I would have to force myself to go out and shoot with it more because I like how I can get a really beautifully rendered image. It's a high performance in a small package. It's definitely good value for the money. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this review interesting and fun. I'm not gonna sit here and pixel peep. That's not what I'm trying to do in these. I'm just trying to go out and have an adventure and then share that with you and share some anecdotal information that occurred to me during the course of all this. So let me know what you think about the 27 mil F2.8. Do you own it too? What are you pairing with it? Leave that in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share your timeline. If you're watching this on IGTV, hit give me a like, give me a follow, and go out and make life an adventure.